Hello guys and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will explain you how to perform a quick health check on your Juniper Network EX, SRX, MX or QFX chassis. So you may ask, why do I mean by health check? Well, I just want to make sure the chassis passes a couple of tests before going on the live network. For instance, I will verify the version of the software. I will also check if the power source works as expected. I will double check if the running engine CPU usage is not you know, exceeding some crazy value. I will also check if I don't have any chassis alarm or software alarm. And finally, I will ensure the SSD storage is properly set up and not close to its limit. And only if I'm happy with those results, then I will plug this device in my network. With that being said, let's jump on the CLI and see how we can perform this health check. Most Juniper gears run the Juno's operating system. And what I usually recommend is to check the version with a show version and make sure it matches the recommendation from the TAC. The link for the recommendation web page is provided in the video description. Next, you can check the LED status. This is very convenient, especially if this device is sitting in a remote location. We use the command show chassis LED for this action. And we can see each LED from the chassis, such as alarms, system, and even the status of each interface. Next, let's review the power supply status and the temperature with a show chassis environment. We can see the current temperature for the different sensors, which is around 50 degrees, with a maximum of 120. So we are in good shape. Also, the primary power supply is OK. For your information, with bigger chassis, you can have more than one. So always make sure the secondary is OK as well. Now, let's review the brain of the chassis, the routing engine. This is the place where your config is set up and you can review its status with a show chassis routing engine. And we can collect some nice input from here, such as the memory usage. So look like we are in good shape with that one. The CPU usage from the last five seconds with 85% idle. So this guy is not under a lot of pressure at the moment. And also the uptime of the chassis. So far, so good. Finally, the other important component to take care of is the storage allocation. With a show system storage, you will have a better idea of what's going on under the hood. The output might be different from one device to another one. However, you will always have some ratio regarding the usage of each partition. And again, we are in good shape. We are not even close to the limit. Now that you have seen the major component, you can also run the two following commands to know if any major alarm has been triggered on the box. The first one is the show chassis alarm for hardware related problem. And the second one is the show system alarm for software related issues. And of course, if you see anything at this level, you better investigate before going in production. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you learned something and please share and subscribe if you enjoy what I do on this channel.